Hello, you're watching the news podcast daily from Hanoi. I'm Ngoc Han, and our latest highlights for this hour. Prime Minister vows to realize socio-economic development plan. Vietnam and Hong Kong boost customs cooperation. Pink Holiday Campaign brings young voluntary workers together to contribute to society. Party General Secretary Nguyen Phu Trọng and National Assembly Chairman Nguyen Sinh Hung have met with voters in Hanoi and the central province of Ha Tinh. They informed voters of the outcomes of the trust and session of the National Assembly. In Hanoi's budding district, voters expressed delight at the session's move towards further democracy, especially the first ever vote of confidence to assess the performance of 47 officials elected or approved by the legislature. However, they also pointed to various social problems, including urban transport, environmental sanitation, and food hygiene. Party leader Chiang took note of voters' appearance. He said he will relay them to the legislative body, relevant ministries and senators. As for the EC issue, he said Vietnam has manifested its clear and consistent position of solving the issue by peaceful means in respect to international law. Also on June 28th, National Assembly Chairman Nguyen Sinh Hung met with voters in Thạch Hà commune in the provincial capital of Hà Tĩnh. Voters expressed hope that the legislative body will pay more attention to investment in building new rural areas and the completion of the constitution amendments. Chairman Hung asked the province's people's councils to make preparations for the vote of confidence on officials they elect to ensure the work will be implemented carefully and objectively. Conducting a vote of confidence should strengthen solidarity among people and authorities as well as implement socio-economic development goals, he said. 109 outstanding organizations and individuals who have made great contributions to Vietnam's poverty reduction efforts were honored at a ceremony held in Hanoi on June 29th. Attending the event were President Trung Tan Sang and Deputy Prime Minister Vu Van Nin, among others. The event was one of a number of activities to celebrate the 65th anniversary of President Ho Chi Minh's appeal to the nation against poverty, illiteracy and foreign invaders. At the event, participants also reviewed the 10 years of implementing a comprehensive strategy on growth and poverty reduction and five years of implementing the government's resolution on supporting fast and sustainable poverty reduction in 62 poor districts. Prime Minister Nguyen Tân Dung has pledged that the government will persist in drastically implementing set objectives, tasks and measures in an effort to fulfill the yearly social economic development plan at the highest level. The Prime Minister made the remark at a recent interview granted to the Vietnam News Agency. The Prime Minister highlighted the task of stabilizing the economy, controlling inflation, removing difficulties for businesses, boosting growth, and ensuring social security. The government will continue to cut interest rates, increase lending in priority status, stabilize exchange rates and the foreign exchange market, effectively manage the gold market, and closely control the state budget to ensure a balance between collection and spending. The leader also said the government will adopt tax incentives, put into operation credit organizations assess management company, which focuses on tackling bad debts and reduce the inventories to make it easier for companies to assess loans. It will continue removing difficulties for the real estate market by effectively implementing credit packages for social housing. In the meantime, the executive body will accelerate administrative reforms, especially simplifying procedures on credit lending, taxation, customs and property. He also said the government will direct the implementation of the approved overall scheme on economic restructuring, focusing on public investment, state-owned enterprises and credit institutions.
A high-ranking delegation from the Vietnam Fatherland Front paid a visit to France from June 26 to 29th. The visit aims to seek ways to strengthen friendship and overall cooperation between the two countries. While in Paris, the delegation, led by President Huynh Dam, worked with the French Economical, Social and Environmental Council. Dam called on the Council and the Front to cement their cooperation. He said Vietnam will develop a scheme to boost ties between the two sides. President of the Council, Jean-Paul Delavoye, said the two sides need to forge a link based on further strengthening the exchange among businessmen and environmental activists to fully grasp public demands. He also touched upon the two nations' cooperation within the framework of the International Francophone Organization and the EU in economics, politics, culture and education. The same day, the Vietnamese delegation laid a wreath at a memorial dedicated to late President Ho Chi Minh. They also visited an exhibition dedicated to him at the Museum of Living History in Montreal City. Vietnam's General Department of Customs and Hong Kong Customs and Excise signed a mutual cooperation and assistance agreement on June 28th in Brazos. The agreement is the 18th cooperative agreement that Vietnam has made with customs agencies over the world. The General Department of Customs said that the agreement fosters customs cooperation between Vietnam and Hong Kong, especially in preventing smuggling, trade fraud and violations of customs laws. Hong Kong is now a territory of transit for many of Vietnam's import-export commodities. Two-way trade between the two sides increased from 3.1 billion US dollars in 2011 to 4.7 billion in 2012. The figure was 1.7 billion in the first five months of this year. The ministries of finance and of industry and trade have agreed for petrol retailers to increase their price from June 28th. After the move, Petrolimax, the country's biggest petrol distributor, immediately hiked its retail price to 24,110 dirham per liter, up 360 dirham. The retail price of diesel oil also rose by 370 dirham per liter and the rising rates of kerosene and mazut were 305 and 328 dong, respectively. The ministry said that the move had been made as global petrol and oil prices remain high for the past 30 days. World petrol prices are more than 114.5 US dollars per barrel. The prices of diesel and kerosene were 118.84 US dollars and 116.49 US dollars per barrel, respectively. This was the second time the petrol and oil prices were hiked this month. The first occasion was June 14, when prices rose by 220 to 420 dong per liter. The Ho Chi Minh City Communist Youth Union launched the Pink Holiday Social Campaign on June 29th. The campaign attracted thousands of voluntary workers in the city to take part. Every year, the Pink Holiday Campaign brings young voluntary workers together to contribute to society through community activities and charitable work for disadvantaged people. Among other activities, the volunteers repair homes, provide school equipment, and plant trees in remote areas. This year, an estimated 30,000 workers in the city will give up their time for free to perform social work in five of the country's provinces and some regions of neighboring Laos and Cambodia. The volunteers will also take part in focal programs at several industrial and processing zones in the city, where they will donate books and gifts to the children of workers and advise staff on labor and union law. The campaign is scheduled to run until August the 11th. That wraps up our program today. I'm Ngoc Ha and the rest of the team. We thank you always for being with us and see you next time.